leaves are out, flowers are blooming, pollens floating through the air like snow. Our eyes are itching, noses are running, throats are scratching. It's allergy season. Now, a lot of people are popping Claritin and Zyrtec like candy uh, to get rid of their symptoms, along with a number of natural remedies. But I want to talk a little bit about why that might not be such a great idea. Uh, you see, allergies are not a disease or a condition that needs to be treated, per se. Uh, what it actually is is just an exaggerated response from one of your body's natural functions, your immune system. It's overreacting to things it should normally be able to handle. You see, your immune system is designed to recognize foreign particles entering your body, whether they're bacteria, viruses, or things like pollen and pet dander. Uh, something as harmless, though, as, as pollen shouldn't be triggering this full-out, full-scale attack from your immune system. It should be handling it calmly and in the background. Uh, so I want to use a little analogy to explain why it's doing what it's doing. Imagine the day from hell, okay? You wake up, you found out you slept through your alarm, you're late for work, you don't have time to shower, you don't have time to iron your clothes, you get into work, you spill coffee on your nice white shirt, you've got a stack of paperwork a mile high, your boss is down your back all day, it's awful, absolutely awful. Then you go to get in your car at the end of the day, finally, to go home, you get stuck in busy Bradford rush hour traffic, uh, your spouse calls and asks you to pick up a couple of things from the store, which you do, uh, you head down to Tops, and you find that everybody else is already there. The spots are all taken, but you see one off in the distance. It looks like it's open. You drive up to it, and as so often happens in Bradford, there's somebody parked incorrectly into your spot, halfway in. Now, ordinarily, you'd take a deep breath, you'd move on, and you continue your hunt, but not the day, the day from hell. You put your car into park, you go into the trunk, you get your tire iron, and you just start smashing in windows, destroying this person's car. Now that's not a normal response. That's an exaggerated response to a pretty common event around here. Any other day of the week, you'd be able to handle it fine and move on. But the day you were so stressed out from everything that happened during the previous eight or nine hours that you just snap. And that's what allergies are too. You see, your nervous system controls your immune response. And if your nervous system is all wound up and all stressed out like that, like that person from the day from hell at work, it's likely to snap as well whenever it receives a stimulus that normally it would be able to handle. In this case, just allergens like pollen and pet dander. So how does the nervous system get so stressed out and so wound tight that it unleashes like this? D.D. Palmer, who founded chiropractic, said there are three main causes to this. Uh, he said there are the three T's, trauma, toxins, and thoughts. Now, toxins and thoughts are things like additives in processed food or stress, things like this. They're kind of on you to identify and eliminate from your life. But traumas, the other T, are kind of different. In chiropractic, we talk about subluxations. Uh, subluxation is just a small misalignment of the top vertebra in your neck within which is the part of your nervous system called the brainstem. The brainstem controls almost all of your vital functions. Uh, it controls the way you breathe, it controls the way your blood circulates, it controls the way your food digests. Uh, it's even responsible in part for the way your emotions function and most importantly for the sake of this conversation, it plays a big role in how your immune system functions. So when you have a subluxation, a small misalignment in the upper part of your neck, it places stress on these very important centers in your nervous system and basically does to your body, to your nervous system, what that day from hell does to you when you get to the, pot, the top's parking lot and it causes it to just unleash at the slightest stimulus. So if there's no pressure up here, if there's no tension in your nervous system, everything's calm, working properly, and should be able to handle these stresses. Now, how do you know if that's the cause of your allergies? Well, since this is such an important area, if there is something going on here, odds are you don't just have allergies. You have headaches, you have shoulder pain, you have low back pain, you have digestive troubles, you have something else 
going on in addition to just allergies. So if that describes you or someone you know, I strongly recommend that you have a chiropractor check out their nervous system to see if it's functioning properly and optimally, and if it's not, to remove any interference that might be going on there. If you'd like a little more information, feel free to stop by our website, woodchiropractic.org, or you can stop in here and chat with us. We'd be happy to see you. Thank you so much.